Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the Java Mail API. Um, so essentially all this is allows you to do is uh, connect to a mail server and like send emails and um, you know like receive stuff from you know, mess around with inboxes like flag emails, delete emails, read them. You know it's it's actually incredibly cool. So but the thing I'm going to be talking about today is um, how to uh, email something like uh, some text um, I'm just gonna be talking about emailing text because um, it's a little bit harder to talk about um, if you want me to talk about how to send images or something uh, just leave in the comments and I'll try to go over that uh, later um, so I included I'm gonna include the link to the API the library in the um, description and it is also in the source code which will always be which will always be in the description. Um, so this is the simple graphical interface that I have created to display this. Um, but I'm going to highlight the code that actually makes it work. Um, so here I have a, you know, who you want to send it to. So it can be someone at yahoo.com or someone at gmail.com. And the subject of the email, the body of the email, the your username and your password. Um, so let me just fill this in uh, and show you how it, you know, that works first before going into the code. I'm gonna send it to myself, and I just click this send button, and there we go. We have it says email sent successfully. Um, awesome. Now let me just check my email, and whoa, I have an email, and it says this is a rad test. So um, f just. To point out uh, the thing that had the text field in it is actually a J password field and so it automatically hides stuff and you can't like copy and paste stuff from the uh, pa J password field into like un like a text document or whatever um, and when you get like a password or something like it's crossed off like you, the user doesn't really have access to it so it's actually kind of nice and it gives you that dot thing um, I did add something here. Uh, if you wanted, to, you can set the echo character to whatever you want. So if I were to set the password thing to that instead, uh, to an asterisk, the password thing will in fact be an asterisk. If it runs, there we go. See, yeah. Uh, but the default is little circles, and honestly, I kind of like how that looks more. Um, so down here. Um, so basically, actually, this is just for Java 8. This is a Lambda expression. Um, and also, just in case you have a an older version of Java, I also included um, this, um, you know, older um, action listener uh, for buttons as well, just in case that Lambda, Lambda expression doesn't work. Um, so first things first, uh, these are the basic properties that you need to set up before um, you know, uh, sending a message, uh, for receiving stuff. It's a little bit different. Um, it's, it is actually much different. There's a lot more protocols that you need to, uh, get into, uh, and you need to like check server identity is like false and all these, or, you know, like all the other specific things, but just for sending a message, this is the basic stuff that you need. Um, so like authorization true and this is specifically for gmail uh this is the gmail host thing and this is the port for um sending um there's a port for sending and receiving messages um and this 587 is the port for sending messages um so that's what we're doing um below here i create a i'm creating a session and um it's creating a session with the properties that i have up here and it's actually putting them into effect, right? And so now it's going to authenticate my username and password that you know the user put in into the uh, side stuff on. Like, this takes forever to load. Actually, it's a bummer. Uh, so basically, it's checking that make sure that this username and this password is actually correct. And if it is correct, then we'll you know, I need to actually do stuff. Um, so this is actually setting up the message to be sent. 
I have a um, new message and it is going to be sent from your username, as you see right here, user.getText, which is going to be, I don't know what, you know, your user at gmail.com or something. Uh, this is the recipients. Um, you can do, you don't need to do recipient type to two. As you can see, like it's highlighting green, it can be other things. So message dot recipient type dot, uh, so you can see a BCC, a CC, or a two. Um, so you can do the kind of regular things that you can do in a regular email construction thing on, you know, online. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, and the, and then it, uh, then it requires that you put in the, the address of the person you want to send it to. And this is getting, uh, this thing up here, this, uh, uh, text up here. Um, now it's saying the subject, the subject being the stuff that's right here, um, and the body, you know, it's the body. And then it's going to try to send this message. So all of this is just adding to, you know, this. So this message is calling on these properties up here, uh, using these properties to send this message. It's, so it's, you know, it's kind of cool. And then you send it. And if something goes wrong with a messaging exception or something, um, like, oh no, the username or password was wrong or some other strange messaging exception, it will tell you. And if it was successful, then it will continue on the program. In this case, I just say email sent successfully. Um, it actually run, it works really, really well. Um, I've been, I managed to uh, write some programs that go through your inbox and uh, you know, filter through your inbox for, you know, people that you're, you actually care about and notify you in your desktop that you got a new email from so-and-so. So I was able to, you know, get, e you know, the contents of emails, uh, from, you know, a Java program, which is incredibly cool. You can also like, uh, mark stuff as, you know, flat, you can flag stuff, delete stuff, other kinds of things. And uh, like I said before, you can actually also send images, uh, which is just as cool. It's a little bit more complicated, and honestly, I just want to go over the basic stuff because it is really, really cool, and you can do a lot. Like, I mean, a lot of things with this. Um, so if you want me to do another more in-depth uh, mail um, tutorial, um, I'll be happy to. Just say so in the comments. Um, it's just that... Uh, Sometimes, like, just going over the basics is the best way to start. Um, and, you know, so, yeah, I will, you know, I comment on some, like, attached components, component actions. So this whole program that you see here, I'm going to include in the description below, as well as a link to the updated um, Java AP, uh, mail API. Um, I think I'm actually using a little bit of an older one, but I made sure this link actually works. It's great. Um, so definitely check this out. It is really, really cool. And everybody should at least try it once because <laughs> it's, it's so, it's so neat. You can like spam people as well. Don't do that, but you can do that if you want, if you're truly motivated. So, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, as always, source code will be in the description. If you have any questions, um, you know, put them in the comments. Uh, if you learn something, from this video, uh, please leave a like or possibly favorite it. That will help out a lot. And uh, if you really like what I'm doing, then please subscribe. That will also help out a lot. And I uh, hope to see you next time.